I am going to make the um, I'm going to make this split bearing, um, which is this one. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I've got this piece of brass. It's 22 mil, but this bearing only needs to be where are we? 13 millimeters. Well, it's actually going to be machined to fit what I've cut out there, which should be 13 millimeters. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this split bearing for in there and how I'm going to do it is I'm going to, this is oversized, it only needs to be 13mm but I'm going to keep it oversized I'm going to cut it on the bandsaw to split it initially uh, I'm going to put it in the mill, machine both sides so they're exactly the same and then I'm going to put it in the lathe and turn it and bore it to size um, I, that's the only real way I know how to do it but anyway let, let's get on with it and um, should be quite an interesting video um, there's a few sort of little techniques in there uh, there might be another way to do it but this is the only way I know but if there is another way then let me know in the comments Just going to clear up the end, clean up the ends, get them down to the same size, and then I'm going to put them in the mill flat. Oh, get that out in a minute. Um, and I'll put them in the mill flat, and then machine off the faces, and then solder them together. Just going to machine them to the, the same height now. I'm facing the, uh, the two halves down to the same thickness. both uh, nine and a half millimeters each now so I'm going to solder those together as they stand like that okay right I've never tried doing it this way before but I've just come up with this idea and I thought well give it a try it's a it's pretty flu fluxed um, electrical solder that's all it is what I'm going to do is put them together like that Put a clamp on them like that. Right. So that's the plan. I have absolutely no idea of how this is going to work out. Um. I'm, in theory, I'm hoping the the solder is just going to melt. And not just all flood out the bottom and the clamp is going to just bring it together nicely but we'll see
Right, well, it has appeared to work how I thought it would. Um, it has squashed it a little bit to one side, but I'm not too concerned about that because that will machine down. I'll still be able to um, clamp it accurately. But what I might do is I might just machine the faces flush on one side, or both sides, sorry, uh, prior to um, prior to mil uh, prior to putting it in the lathe. Yeah, I'll probably do that. So, anyway, that's where we're at at the moment. Right, it's got that aligned. Right, we can start turning it down now. Got to get a, a 10 millimeter reamed hole in there now. Now what has happened is they've started to spread a little bit. Um, I don't think I can nip them back up with a clamp. Um, The snatching has um, broke the seal, hasn't it? Uh, all we can do is part it off and see what happens.
going to clean them up on the stone. Right, there we have them. Little bearings, or little bearing, I should say. That is for the Conrod. That's the bearing for there. I think if I uh, did them again, I, I could, I'd do, use the same sort of procedure, but I'd use them. Um, silver solder because uh, they did separate a little um, towards the end um, which means this hole is not a, a true round so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them up in, in the um, con rod and then when I've got everything lined up I'll run a reamer through everything just to get everything nicely lined up Right, just going to make this little uh, pin now um, to go in the uh, con rod. So it's only a little bit of uh, six mil. Just uh, get over to the lathe and get that cut. Right, just get this turned down to six millimeters and four millimeters on the end. going to put a little M4 tap on there now. M4 thread I should say. Right, I'll put the uh, 4 millimeter thread on there now. I forgot to press the record button. <laughs> Don't mind. Anyway, I'll just put a little chamfer on there. Right, I can now part that off at 17 and a half millimetres. Right, that's the uh, edge of the cutter aligned there, so I've now got to go back 17 millimetres. I know I said 17 and a half, but it's actually 17. So, and lock it off. Right, I'll 
I'll just put it back in and clean that pip off. this pin. I've just got to put a, uh, a, a saw cut in the end there just to form a, a screw slot. There you go, little screw slot in there now. Alright, let's get that fitted in the con rod. Right, that's the pin screwed in the con rod. I'm going to make this uh, fitting here. Um, I need some 16 millimeter hex stock which of course I haven't got but I have got this bit of brass, a bit of round bar which I can make some 16 millimeter hex stock out of and then I will put the thread on it and I've got a little um, synthetic washer which isn't actually, it was, yeah it's a washer and then you've got this top cap in piece which goes on there and as this compresses down now I assume this synthetic washer expands out and expands in to seal the rod and the um, thread section that this goes into the socket so let's get this 16 millimeter hex stock uh, made up first Right, just going to turn this piece of brass down to 12 millimeters, and then I'll put the thread on, and then I'll uh, put it uh, in, into a collar and put the hex on. Right, just going to cut a bit of relief in there for the thread and also put a slight chamfer on there and then bore the hole through. Okay, that's good. Right, let's get a little hole put through there now. Just check what size we want. Right, we want a six millimeter reamed hole through there, so we'll work up to that. That's this bottom threaded portion of that and take it out now I'm going to put it in a, a collar in a hex block and uh, turn the hex on it not turn the hex on it I'm going to take it over to the mill and mill the hex on it Right, 
hex turned. Just going to take it back over to the lathe now and just clean the end up, put some chamfers on it and tidy it up. decided to do before I um, put this in, uh, in the mill and put the hex on it I decided to flip it over utilize this end piece as I've already got the uh, hole drilled through and just make this little piece So uh, I managed to get uh, both these little fittings out of that bit of brass so now I'm just going to take this over to the mill and uh, create the hex on this end. We've got these two now. That's the bottom part here and the top part. I haven't got any th synthetic material to do this so I'll have to uh, have another scrap about later I think and find something. That's all folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.